I'm Deidre. I'm a senior psychology major. And I'm John Blunt. I'm a senior, soon to be senior, religion and philosophy major. Well, Dr. Burke came to both of us and Joe Alfonso and asked us if we'd be interested in uh, speaking with the president. I was writing a paper at 8 o'clock in the morning. My phone rang, and of course it's Tracy Burke, so I picked up the phone immediately. And she said, what are you doing on Monday? And I said, well, I have an exam, but I just have to turn in a paper. And she goes, well, do you want to go talk to the president? And, you know, my immediate thought was Dr. Smelly, which would be nice. And I was like, sure. And she's like, I mean, of the United States of America. And I said, what? <laughs> that was my reaction. So... It's pretty exciting. I almost, well, I did cry. I cried <laughs> because you get to speak to the president. And even though there wasn't a back and forth interaction, it was still the fact that we were there at that moment in time. That's something I will never forget. And I'm very grateful for Dr. Burke, who is my academic advisor, for giving me that opportunity. And those opportunities really only come to students that attend schools like CBU. Mm -hmm. So we sat down and uh, we waited on hold for a really long time, got to listen to some really fun music yeah. from the White House and uh, the operator came on and we went through several speakers who talked to us about student loan interest rates, talked about the effects that they have on students, talked about the effects of loans that uh, students have. They told us what, that uh, for the first time, student loan debt was higher than credit card debt when people right. graduate college, and they gave us all these really shocking, Statistic, to me, yeah. statistics. Mm -hmm. And um, after four speakers, including the governor of Maryland, Maryland yes. the president came on, yes. and he, he came on, he said, hey, and so I responded, I said, hey, because <laughs> it's the president of the United States. Well, so. he, he couldn't hear us. He we couldn't hear us, though. on mute. You but know. it was it was such a wonderful once in a lifetime experience. His voice is so it's Barack Obama, so you know his voice immediately. And to know that we were, you know, two of very few people who had that opportunity to hear his presentation, it was surreal. It was it was a wonderful experience. And you could definitely tell that he was really passionate about the issue that he was talking on. You know, it was a closed press event. It was very uh, well done. And he challenged us to take action in social network and in our classes and in our, on our university's campuses. So he was very passionate about the issue. Right. So we were asked by the mayor's office and by the president to write op-ed pieces, to talk to our congressmen and women, mm -hmm. to send out uh, Twitter updates with the hashtag, don't raise my rate, mm -hmm. and uh, I know Google Plus as well, I didn't know you could do yeah. that. And mm -hmm. um, so we've, we've been encouraged to take action in the ways that only uniquely our generation can. Exactly. So it was really, it, I th and I think that was the motivation behind the conference call, was to get to students and to help them to, yeah. help to realize that we have to take this action. I'm graduating, but I still want to support that because in the future, I want my children, I want younger people in my family to be able to afford to go to college. So, to you know, afford to go to college is like CBU. Exactly. Sure. To afford to go to college really is like CBU. Necessary. Right. Exactly. Quality education. Everybody deserves the opportunity. So don't double my rate.